Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder. Welcome back to part three of our special Butterscotch.com five-part series on FileZilla. On this segment, I'm going to take a brief look at doing file transfers with FileZilla. Once again, I'm using FileZilla on my Mac, but you can use it just as easily on your Windows PC or your Linux distribution. So what I do here will apply there. Now I'm connected to my web server. And to transfer a file in FileZilla is as simple as highlighting on a file, left-clicking with the mouse button, holding it down, dragging it across. Now you see when it gets to the other side, it becomes a little plus sign on the Mac, and you can see the little file, little square. Then I let go, and there's the file on my web server. Now FileZilla has a very handy feature, it's particularly for updating web pages, because I know myself, sometimes I get confused about which files I've uploaded and which files I haven't. And it's a comparison feature. You can get to it right here on this icon. It's got black bars and red and green. Click that. And what it's showing us here is that all of the files that are highlighted in yellow aren't on the right side. So that if we wanted to get the right side to be the same as the left side, we would have to upload all of these files that are currently in yellow. So, it's a very handy feature because if you're uploading lots of web pages, you lose your place. You can do a comparison and you can see exactly which files are exactly the same on both sides and which are not. So, that's a handy way to do file transfers in FileZilla. You can turn off the comparison by clicking there again. It's fast, it's easy, it's as simple as drag and drop, and that concludes part three.